for this leaf is available on my website and I will put the links below in the description box so you can follow along with the video. G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this really easy and quick and simple leaf. Great to add into any projects and would look really good with flour. So let's get started. Why is we going to need a why is we going to need a yarn needle with a big eye, a pair of sharp scissors, a crochet hook to go with your yarn. Now the yarn recommends about a 5.5 or an eye hook, but you want a crochet hook that is smaller. Uh, this is about a G hook or a size 4 millimeter because you want your stitches to be reasonably tight. And in today's video we're going to use the Red Heart Super Saver. You have to excuse the condition of that label but it's scrapped as you can see it's not a full ball and we're using the color spring green so you won't need much yarn for this project at all it's great to use up scrap amounts of yarn so to start off we're going to need a slip knot plenty of ways to do that Putting our slip knot on our hook. What we're going to do is chain 10. We're going to slip stitch into the second and third chain. So we don't count the loop that's on our hook. This is the first and this is the second. So into there slip stitch and then into the third for a slip stitch we're going to single crochet into the next one and then single crochet into the next one we're going to half double crochet so it's wrapping our yarn into the next chain half double crochet into the next chain and half double crochet into the next chain should have two chains left we're going to single crochet into that one and into the last chain we're going to work five single crochets so that's five and working down the other side of the chain we're going to work a single crochet so we can actually work over our yarn if we want to. So working into the, so we've already done into this, the next one's there. Single crochet. We're going to work half double crochet. So it's wrapping our yarn first. Half double crochet. Another half double crochet. Oops. I'm going to work a single crochet into that one and into the next stitch as well. And then we're going to slip stitch into the last two stitches. And instead of going into here, which is where the next stitch is, I just want you to pick up just on the end there, if you can.
and we're working a slip stitch into there. So once we have the end finished, you're going to cut off your yarn. You're going to leave about 12 inches of yarn if you're going to sew it onto a project. Um, if you if you're going to sew all the way around the leaf to a project so you'll be sewing it so it's stuck down like that if you just want to use it to sew just the tip of the leaf you won't need to use as much yarn what we need to do is because this is the tip of the leaf and that is the bit that was stuck to the branch or whatever we're going to sew our tail back through I'm trying to sew it down the centre section. Try not to pull the tip in too much. And by sewing through there, it gives it a little bit of, um, I don't know what the word is, but it can hold its shape more because you've put another lot of yarn through there. So it gives it a bit more stiffness to it. And your leaf is good to go to sew on any project. So well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out redheart.com for more great free patterns and also yarn. Please subscribe to my videos and there will be plenty more to come. Please share your creations on our Facebook page. I would love to see what you have done with your little leaf. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.